Yo, 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 what's happening, my kings, my G's, and my gents? Really quick, if you're new to this channel, but you like the content, you like this video, make sure to like the video, of course. Comment, subscribe, share this with your homies. But let's get started into this man bun bursted skin taper with a rounded back and a faded beard. Jeez! I'm as excited as y'all are. First thing we're gonna go and do is grab our number two guard. This is closed and we're just gonna go with the grain. The reason why we wanna do this is because I do not wanna take too much off, but I still kinda wanna see how my canvas is looking like. We're gonna jump right into our trimmers and I'm just gonna line up that part of the beard while I'm there. You feel me? Why not? Just do it. I like doing it while I'm there. Kill two birds with one stone. Next, I'm gonna set in my first guy line and I'm just gonna put it at where the crease between the head and the ear connects and this is gonna be kind of like a upside down V you're gonna remove about an inch or so below that but you still want to leave some of the sideburn there so we could connect the beard into the fade right look at that look at that it's that simple next thing we're gonna do is go with our number two guard closed and you're just gonna use the corner we want to go up about two about an inch or so I would say just so you can still like see your canvas and we want to remove a little bit of bulk off slowly by slowly. Next, we're going to go with our no guard open. We're going to go about an inch or so, still using our corners. Maybe, maybe less than an inch, probably about half an inch or so. Still using our corners and then slowly, slowly close that lever as you get lower to that bottom line. Look at that. I just closed it completely and I'm just trying to take out that line that's remaining there. Sheesh. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is grab our number one and a half guard, fully open, go up about another half an inch. Use your corners though, then go back to your one and a half guard, halfway closed, you still using your corners and then you hit it again with your one and a half guard fully closed still using your corner mind you every single time you use your you lower that lever you should go a little closer down to that line that line didn't disappear though so i'm gonna grab my number one guard and i'm gonna do the exact same steps i'm gonna use my corners i'm gonna start with my fully open lever position go into my halfway closed and then to my fully closed lever position you feel me still using the corners because we're making such a tight little blend in such a short space so that didn't really take it off so i'm gonna do the exact same steps with my 0.5 guard exact same steps just to take that line out as much as i can you see me just playing with that lever you feel me after a while don't worry after a while you will get an eye for this it'll just come to you naturally like what the fuck like just magically it'll come to you bro now we're gonna go with our <laughs> sorry for cursing, but now we're gonna go with that number two guard. Same exact steps, y'all. Open to close. I like going open to close. By open to close, I mean your lever position fully open and then halfway open and then fully closed. Every single time you close your lever, you get slow, you get lower and lower to that bottom line. And I've been demonstrating this with every single different guard I've put on this man's scalp. <laughs> you feel me, G? It's always best to take less hair off than more because you can't magically put that hair on. You feel me? Once you cut it that short, it's clug no matter what you do. So right here, I'm just doing my number three guard. Just trying to take off that dark little patch right there. That's all it is. Just that dark little patch. And I'm having a little bit of trouble right here. I ain't gonna front with you. You feel me? But all you gotta do is just hit it a little bit more. And if you see if it doesn't cut anything like I did right here, then I went with the lower guard, like my number two guard. I just did the three, then I went to my number two because my number three was not doing anything for me. Unfortunately. <laughs> and eventually, you're gonna see me going with my number two guard with the grain just to flatten that little piece of dark patch out and then my number two guard closed and i did my best to kind of take that little dark patch out of there you know just to blend it in as much as i can because i don't want to go too deep into that scalp we still kind of want to keep it as dark as we can 
going back with our trimmers these are actually my wall detailers these are my really sharp trimmers i trim up the back again and then i go over the arch over his ear a little bit but right here what i'm doing is starting the hook part of a shape up i start with my indentation and then i do like a little like semi-circle kind of drawing like my hook using my left finger as like a pivot point my hands are really shaky so i kind of would prefer using two hands in order to make this hook as perfect as i can and if you can't make that hook with one hand it's all good that doesn't mean you're real or a fake barber or whatnot you feel me if you need to use two hands use those two hands just to make your work so much better right here i'm just going with my number two guard with the grain trying to remove as much bulk as i can without removing too much bulk and that's the key to lining up something like this to remove bulk and lining this person this client up the same way you would as if they as if they never had a man bun you feel me if they had short hair and they wanted to round it back you would line them up the exact same way only a few different variations like going with the grain shorting down the hairs and over here right over the ear it's gonna be the exact same way you would do with any other haircut there's no difference the only difference we did was going with the grain to remove bulk and look at that i'm doing the same thing on the other side but i'm not gonna hit up that side of the back yet because i still want to work on the other side of his taper for the other side of his taper, we're going to do the exact same steps we did on the other side. With the trimmers, that upside down V, you take it off, then you go with your number two guard. And then you go with your no guard. You feel me? The exact same steps. So your haircuts could look as best as they can, as symmetrical as they can. And it's okay sometimes it, both sides will not be symmetrical for whatever reason it may be sometimes it might not even be your fault sometimes the hairs are different but as long as you're trying to get it as symmetrical as you can i promise you you will become a better barber paying attention to the details is key to all of this as well after repetition after repetition of constant cuts of the same cuts actually you're gonna get better and faster i've been in the same position in the same boat you've been where you've seen a cut and you're like damn so i don't know if i could take that to be honest now, that was looking a little tough yo b you want to take this <laughs> i've been in the same situation but the only way to get past that is to keep doing your cuts keep cutting it's key repetition is key and i promise you you're gonna be the best barber you've ever been i promise you that Holly Clips guarantees that, G. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> but like I said, same steps. Repetition is key, and within time, you're just gonna, you're just gonna see yourself cutting faster, cutting better, blending out lines way quicker. Right here, we're gonna go with our trimmers, and we're just lining that back side up, right? Remember what I said about killing two birds with one stone? Guess what we about to do right now? We about to line up the shape up. Like I said, make your indentation. And then you kind of want to make like, you want to imagine your trimmers as a pencil. If you need to use two hands like I'm using here, it's okay. It's okay. Take your time and don't rush it. You're going to get faster within time and it will just come as second nature. Right here, I'm fading in the beard. I'm going with my number two guard with the grain. Open to close. And then I'm going to go with my number one and a half guard. Open to close as well, right? Now I'm going to go with my number one guard. Same exact steps. You're going to go from open to close. Every time you go up a guard, you go higher into that beard. Now I'm going to go with my no guard. Same exact steps. Open to close. Try to use your corners as well. So I still see a little line there. So I'm going to go with my number one guard. And I'm just going to go at that line playing around with my lever. And I don't even need to use my .5 guard because that is a pretty faded beard. And in a situation like this, sometimes you might have to pin their hair up. 
Remember what I said? Line them up the same way you would line them up if he didn't have a man bun. The only difference is, is that you removed all that bulk, like you're doing right here. The best advice I can give you in trying to make the lineup, the shape up, as symmetrical as you can is to try and use the mirror. The mirror is never gonna lie to you and it'll always tell you if something is messed up. All right, the mirror is my best friend. I love the mirror. If I could have an entanglement with the mirror, I would. You feel me? <laughs> Use all the tools provided to you to your best advantage. Right there, I'm some using the mirror. I'm looking back at the mirror. I'm trying to make this shape up as symmetrical as I can. And if you have to use two hands, like I'm using two hands right here, then go ahead and do it. It doesn't make you any less of a barber, but it'll only make your cuts better, G. Understand that. You're a great ass barber and you're gonna get better. Don't play yourself. Don't play me either, you heard? Don't play Javi clips like that. You better than that. Stop playing, G. You about to get up in the morning, you about to have some nice ass cuts, and you about to grow your clientele. That's all it is. This channel's all about growing. Right here, I'm still using both my hands. Still using both my hands for the lineup too. Over here, I'm kind of shaping up the bottom of his beard. I'm trying to make the center or right underneath his chin the largest point of his beard. So that way it kind of gives it like almost like a Viking type of look. You feel me? So as it gets closer to his ear, his chin or his beard hair kind of gets shorter as well. And you see how I'm just sculpting all of that out. Kind of if you were like a gardener, you were trimming bushes. Look at my man. Look at him. <laughs> my man wanted that screen time. Okay. Right here, we're just going to add a little bit of shaving cream just to dehydrate and clean his skin. Look at that. Now we're going to go in with our hot towel. Make sure it's not hot. Don't burn your client's face off. We're going to set it in. And then we're going to go in with our hot or actually with our hand massager. I've never had the hand massager done on myself, but I'm going to show you this is the most relaxing part of the haircut for any client. Invest in this. It will definitely give you a little bit more of a tip. I promise you. They will definitely tip you more. Now with our razor, we're going to just shape up the lineup. Everything we did with our, trim with our trimmers, we're just going to shape up with the razor. The trimmers was like a draft. Remember when you was in school? You really remember when you was in school and they made you m make drafts for essays and stuff? The trimmers you used as a draft. Now this is the final essay. You about to use the razor to sharpen everything up. Remember when you're cutting, pull away from where you're cutting, stretch the skin. The skin is very elastic and you do not want to open up your client. The worst thing to do is giving your client a fresh ass fade but then you cut it multiple times because you're not being careful be careful there ain't no shame and no extra detail works either your client will appreciate you if you spend time on them your client will definitely notice if you spend time on them i promise you keep giving that a1 customer service too. listen to your clients and i promise you you will get a long way in this whole barber game Hobby clips guaranteed, you heard? Now we're gonna do the exact same things we did on the other side of the beard in order to fade this side of the beard. Using our shears, we're just gonna take off any extra flyaway hairs on the beard. Like I said, Playboy, ain't no problem with no detail works. Do all the detail works you need. You see, I'm hitting it up with my trimmer a little bit. I thought I needed a little bit more attention back there. I thought I needed a little bit more love. So I showed it some more love back there in the, in the shape up. Now we about to show my man's how it's looking like. Look at that first reaction. Sheesh, my man digging the cut. 
But real quick, real quick, this is how we was looking like, bro. My son Yusuf, my son Yusuf, he was down bad, man. He was down bad. He was thinking about making an OnlyFans page, man. Nah, it, it, it was down that bad, man. It was really down that bad. But you know what? He don't got to make no OnlyFans page. You know why? Because they all bought a flag to this dude. Look at that crisp, bursted skin tape. <laughs> They're all flocking. I see him waiting. I, I promise you they was waiting outside the barbershop for this kid, bro. Look at that. Clean. Whew. I, I don't even got to say anything else. I don't. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you show some love. I appreciate all the love in the world. I'm going to show some love back to my supporters. I love you. Have a great ass day and keep being the best barber you could ever be. Yeah? I'm out.